I'm coming from Tool and Die Development Center from Slovenia and Tool and Die Development Center is also involved in Creative Core a project together with the school that means Polymer College. Due to this, I'm employed there for this duration of the project. Just short about the agenda of my presentation, which I will have these 20 minutes. So, uh, where we have collected the knowledge uh, of the biomaterials, so uh, we have in company this Creative Core project and we have this DBOPEC project. This is the seven framework project uh, in you will uh, heard about uh, this uh, on the next slide. Then I will uh, present the test description uh, which I have performed or we have performed on our machines. Um, then also I have performed of the material of, that means this is the mixture of PLA uh, with 15% of coconut fibers I have uh, found uh, some problems and how to eliminate these problems I will describe at then at the end the conclusions. Uh, this DBOPEC project is development of injection blow extrusion molded biodegradable and multifunction packages by nanotechnologies improvement of structure and barrier properties smart futures and sustainability. Wow, yeah, it's very complicated. Do this uh, as you can see, the consortium of 19 partners and uh, also three years of duration on such project similar like yours. But what we have to develop in the work package one is biodegradable composites development. As we know that PLA is good material. It's biodegradable, it's compostable. Uh, also high transparency, water solution resistance, but uh, there need to be improved processability with some special plasticizers. We have tested a lot of materials uh, which we have developed together in this project and also what, what also want to gain the gas barrier properties, mechani improved mechanical properties and also thermal behavior as you know the heat deflection temperature is approximately from 50 to 60 of the basis material. So with nano additives, this thermal resistivity want to be improved. So how we will gain this on different technologies, injection molding, extrusion blow molding, and BXL, BXL uh, oriented filling extrusion this is just a laboratory. We want to test uh, uh, also you can see on the other sides you uh, I have to see on also on the screen. That means this is the mold, this is the simulation what we have done already on takeoffs. This is the part and the mold uh, which is now located in Celia, just 60 kilometers from here. Uh, the extrusion blow molding will be developed in Spain. That means uh, processability of testing uh, in virtual and in real on three different processes. And on which uh, products on food, cosmetic and pharmaceutical, we want to make some special smart devices of these barrier properties uh, to also to test uh, how uh, the food uh, can be uh, their cons uh, s uh, continuously checked if there is everything it's inside okay. This is about this project, about the creative core project, I think uh, Irina, uh, Andre, yeah. so just uh, there are five different work packages or research and development uh, packages uh, that means in first two that means blends and composites 
from the new renewable resources and integrated processing of polymer materials. Uh, this mainly we are uh, in these two uh, projects we are in. So about this you will see also the results which I will present. The test description. I, uh, that means we have tested on two parts, the dog bone, this is classical part, uh, specimen for mechanical testing, and the second part we have developed, uh, this is just a stepped uh, plate, but nevertheless, at the end is the uh, wall thickness just one millimeter, and for such a little bit critical material, it's this wall thickness very thin, so the injection velocity must be increased more than 100 millimeters per second. And with this mold and this part, we have proceed rheological test and also DOE. So, uh, already the results. Normally, I have this is the bilingual version of uh, testing on our Krauss Maffei machine. Uh, what it's very hard to be seen, but nevertheless, the, uh, the uh, melt temperature is approximately 180 degrees Celsius. And what is also very important here, uh, the uh, mold temperature must be as low as possible. About this problem, I will also explain at the end. So. Uh, the PLA material tend to create that some special, it's named channels, it's some that the, uh, the surface is not perfect. Uh, but as you can see, the machine will take uh, by the injection velocity of 50 millimeters per second approximately from 700 to 1000 bar, it's take the pressure to need uh, to fill the cavity. But what's uh, with this part which we have molded in Celia uh, here on Polymer Col uh, College, uh, they have uh, tested, they have prepared all this material which we have molded, but nevertheless they have then uh, evaluated and with, with DMA, with TGA and with uh, tensile stress machine they have evaluated all this values for this material that means bases as you can see are already, uh, always PLA but different kinds of PLA but there is the filler talcum, calcium carbonate, coconut fibers, uh, microcellulosis and others. Okay then a little bit more uh, interesting things the part is not so complicated, but uh, as you can see, uh, there are the, these materials, the name so from SH0 to SH14. And there you can see these materials and also PPA, uh, thermoplastic scorch. Provino, uh, Scorch, the scrub. Starch. Starch, uh, sorry. And also. Uh, PHA material, Mirelli is also tested and uh, there as you can see the, simil, very, the similar uh, melt temperatures 185 uh, just uh, TPS and P, uh, PHA which is just 150 need to be applied on the, uh, on the barrel and but the velocity must be from 100 20 till 140 millimeters. Just the, this PH can be injected by 80 millimeters per second. And just on such small part, more than 1,000 bar need to be applied on the screw to fill the cavity with these materials. And also uh, drastically low uh, thermoplastic scotch Materi storage material, just 40 degrees Celsius must be applied. Uh, I have performed the rheological analysis. 
I have varied the, the temperature of the mold. I have performed the uh, variation of the injection velocity, the packing pressure, and also the duration of the uh, packing pressure. As you can see, this is for each material 16 process settings. And uh, on each process settings, I have performed also three um, uh, equal uh, sh three shots. Then I have to collect it and also evaluate it with the, uh, with the, I have, uh, we have the possibility to, uh, to um, with the Kistler sensor, we have possibility to measure the mold pressure inside the cavity, also the duration when this uh, peak in the mold occur, and also we have measured the part width and the length. But what is also very important that uh, I have observed that on some material it's also very critical the mechanical behavior also that the, the, this um, technological window on such material is very, very small. And then I have performed, I have uh, once more put the mold on the machine and I have taken this material and I have made the variation at first, the variation of the temperature. Uh, with 170 degrees Celsius, this material uh, don't want to go uh, through the mold and do this 2540 bar need to be to push the material through the mold and that means on the maximum is one, 2500 that means uh, the machine that means we are over the limits so uh, then I stepwise uh, increase the temperature of the melt uh, 100 85, it's uh, 1,300 bar, and it's, uh, it's also very high. By the 200 degrees Celsius, I have observed just 1,100 bar. That means here we are on the uh, lower uh, level. Uh, when we increase the temperature with approximately for 10 degrees, the material want to go uh, to purge out of the uh, cylinder. So we have settled then, we have observed that 200 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature, then we have made the variation of the velocity. Uh, then we set 30, 90 and 150 and uh, with a small and middle uh, velocity we have found that the surface is not perfect and uh, that means we are named that matte uh, surface and we said okay the optimum is on 150 then occur also uh, then we want to make the variation of the pressure and the duration of the packing pressure and as you can see uh, 800 900 and 1000 on the 800, we, dig, uh, we get the sink marks of the pot. On the 900, it's perfect pot. And on the 1000, that means just 10% 10, uh, 10 more, the, uh, the pot is already broken in the mold. That means minus 10, it's sink marks, plus 10, it's already the uh, broken part, that means very, very, very uh, small process window for the processing of such materials. Then I have performed already the variation of the packing pressure. Five seconds, it's too low. Sink marks, five, uh, seven and nine, it's good part. These are the parts that you can see from uh, these uh, samplings. Uh, and also this, this is already this uh, broken part, that means the part it's due to uh, this material, PLM has the, uh, this very high coefficient of friction and due this 
some um, bigger draft angles need to be done in the mold. Uh, this is already this technological window of soft processing. When we take the five seconds packing, uh, packing pressure, as you can see, uh, these are the mud surface, and this here we get the sink marks. Just one good here, it's, as you can see, sink marks, good part, and already broken part. Very, very small process window. And also, uh, this is the second, 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 and also nine seconds uh, packing time. Uh, it's already the same picture. What is also problems with the PLA processing? The breakdown. That means if you stop the production, uh, the material tend to degradate already in the plasticizing unit by the 200 degrees Celsius, which is need to be applied because unless the pressure uh, it's enormous high. Uh, as the right, the right part is two minutes breakdown in the plasticizing unit, and the left one it's four minutes breakdown. That means in just leave them for two minutes to to stay on the 200 degrees Celsius, and uh, such parts are then injected in the mold. That means not uh, not complete or a very high thermal degradation. What occur on the machine? That means if you are producing the good parts, uh, that means here the uh, grades, the screw position, as, as you can see by the book, uh, process settings, also the, the inside pressure in the mold, very nice, the distribution of the packing, uh, of the pressure also on the on the nozzle we have applied stepwise uh, the packing then we uh, follow the drop uh, uh, on the screw a little bit uh, then we a little bit reduce the pressure and on the right side it's the picture from the this breakdown as you can see the inside pressure it's very small and the screw position go till end. That means to the zero. That means uh, uh, if something occur very unusual with the material. And the second failure, it's this what I have already mentioned. Uh, this is this channel formation. As you can see, uh, the material tend to form the channels on the surface, it's like uh, extremely high sink marks. And on the right side, uh, right side, you can see already the part without these channels. We have found that these channels can be eliminated with extremely low temperature of the mold. That means less than 20, it's even better than 15 or even less degrees Celsius must be applied on the mold to process correctly the PLA materials. So, for the conclusions, biomaterials can be injected on standard injection molding machine without additional changes on the equipment or on the mold, but the technological parameters must be selected very carefully. As you can see, the process window is extremely small. Uh, basic problems are this channel formation, that means which you can extra chiller or directly connect the mold to the water. And this material degradation, that means the barrel is not allowed to be too big. And speciality of PLA, High friction coefficient with the mold due to this high ejection forces must be applied and on some parts bigger draft angel it's needed to be done. Uh, and also acknowledgement. Uh, 
this article was made within the po Operation Creative Core of HTP, and it's co-financed by European Union, European Regional, uh, Regional Development Fund. Thank you for your attention.